my friend, it's Pat Sloan here. So today is the Kites Day, plus I have some other stuff, of course, because I don't have a full show of just talking about kites, do I? <laughs> so let's first, let's first look at kites. We are on the fourth week. I'm on the back side because we're gonna look at the sew sampler box from last, from, from July, but here we go. Here we go, here are four weeks of rows. So if you want to know how long it's going to be, it, mine will be six long. I, I'm not far enough away from the camera. Here we go. Gosh. Okay. Never. Just hold on. Hold on. Okay. I'll stand over here. So if you want to know how long, there we go. So you can see that's how long it'll be because it'll be, mine will be six long. Then I'm going to do a little white border and then, you know, the background, same background border, and then a, maybe a three inch or so fabric border around it so it'll be uh, bigger than this but that's how six uh, rows looks but we have four so that's how wide it is and my fifth row is made I've made it ta-da <laughs> you guys are doing great I love seeing your blocks as you're progressing it really helps when we're sewing together like this to sort of to celebrate particularly when they're repeat blocks and this is a block that takes just a few minutes for each one <laughs> so it's really nice when you can go ahead okay I'm all tangled up hold hold on so it can um, you can you can show your your blocks in the group and sort of celebrate how you're doing okay so we have that let's see what else today is I do a color of the month and I forgot to put it actually on the calendar uh, for August so the, today is the color of the month so we want to see gray quilts if you have quilts that have a lot of gray you know so that when you look at it you think to yourself oh that's a gray quilt not just like some tiny little piece in there you know something that is significant enough that you see the gray in it uh, so that's today's assignment share your gray quilts and if you would and so many of you have been doing this it is just so awesome if you would say on Pat's video today or Pat asked us on her video something like that because it really helps for people who are not watching the videos to understand what's going on uh, the Facebook group is a large community it is like almost 450,000 people which is almost half a million people and they they're not all watching my videos be nice <laughs> <laughs> but they aren't so it really helps when you have all done that I so appreciate you just doing that extra little bit when you post post your things that we talk about here our quilt things in the quilts along with Pat Sloan group okay I have the September calendar so you can go down and it is uh, what we got here I got an extra page I've done not the calendar put that over there so it's two pages one is a list by day of the projects and the other is the projects themselves and if you're reading this on your computer there's clickable links on here that take you either to the project page or to the um, to the pattern something like that uh, so you need both pages and take a look at them I will go over projects here in the in the near future on one of the videos probably on a couple videos I'll probably break up because I think I want to just remind everybody what they are not only ones that are coming up but talk about ones that are, are in progress again just give a little recap maybe do like three or four over uh, several days so yeah I know I know they can't do I could do them all in one day but you know <laughs> I think it's uh, I think it gets a little boring a little droning on kind of deal so I will just <laughs> instead I'll just do a few at a time um, I also at the very end here I have what I think are the final state quilts state fabrics for the state quilt um, I think that is it so it'll be been through my Saturday mail uh, so that'll be at the end um, so I'm excited about that just to show you the last ones that came in if you sent it I'm sure that you remember that you could go to the state page and see where I, I uploaded a picture of everything okay the sew sampler box let's take a look I did not peek I did not peek this is last month this is the one that came the beginning of this month you know or the end of last month however it came it's July 
So it is not the new one that you're just getting now. So this is the one, if you should have gotten it, um, but I always wait right till the end of the month because international shipping takes a while and I just, there's no reason for me to spoil it. You know, other people show them right, right away. So if you are that person who needs to know that, you've already searched and found it. Um, mine is just, uh, you know, I do it at the end of the month. So these are sam uh, subscription boxes, but there's often some extras. And so I show you because of often a large number of the things that are in the box are also available by themselves. So they're not exclusive, but there is always some exclusive item, particularly the pattern is, but nowadays the Fat Core Shop is also giving you an alternate pattern, which is on their website already public. So that's really great because if you like that fabric, they give you sort of another option and say, hey, if you like that fabric, but you don't have the subscription, you can get the fabric and use this pattern. Okay, so they always start out with a theme. So this is called Playful Summer. Playful summer, and there's always a coupon on the back side of this, which I don't show you, but the coupon is for um, a percentage off your entire order, 20% off your entire order. So, oh my goodness, if you are in this, be sure you do not miss out. That runs until August 30th. So you only have a couple more days until this coupon runs out. So be sure that you use your coupon. I will have to use mine for sure, <laughs> for sure. Okay, they give you a little booklet that tells you everything, which I think this is super nice. I mean, they don't have to do that, but you know, it's a nice, nice feature of your subscription. So if you are kind of unsure what one of the things are, it'll tell you in here. Also there, they do a block of the month that goes along with this and, and you can buy these apps separate. Each pattern though, you have to purchase separate. Okay, there's always some fabric. There's always some other stuff. Let's look at some of the other stuff first. Ah, I love these. Love these. This is what I had you cleaning the other day. Get clean. But here's the turquoise one. A lot of mine are red. So I, I like that. That's nice. I might use it up in my bathroom. I think I could. Or most of my makeup or something. I might go for some of my makeup stuff. Okay. And what do we have? Ooh. Look at this cute tote. Look at this. Okay. Oh, look at that. It's like a bucket bag. <gasps> look how cute that is in turquoise. <gasps> look at that. Now, is that, let me see real quick here. It says, this is a small stitch with love maker bucket. Oh my gosh. So sampler got it first. So they might be eventually available. So, or they might be available now. I'll check and if they are, I'll link you to them in the description box under the video. So the back doesn't have anything, but man, that's so cute. So cute. Okay, what else is in here? Ooh, okay. What is it? So line, it's from something from So Line. Oh, it's a glue stick. It's the glue sticks. I love the glue sticks. They are my favorite. This is a new, that's a new um, packaging for them because they've been pink. So what is the deal here? So, okay, so that can go in your, in here. Yeah, can go in here. So it's the water soluble glue stick. Love it, love it, love it. And then now we have, we have fabric. We're gonna look at that in a second. So they, we've got the Woven Star um, paper piecing. The, this is the pattern, I don't know if it's the size or what, but the, for in October for quilt pink, the Fat Quarter Shop has a pattern with a huge heart using these and almost like they're like a, like a cross stitch, kind of like that concept with this block. It is so cool. It's, 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 a, it's a bit of sewing, but it's beautiful. It is beautiful. Okay, and then <gasps> we get charm packs and we don't get not just one, not just two but three charm packs. And this is 30s Playtime from my friend, Lindsay McCray, Lindsay Cole McCray, and it's 30s fabrics, which are gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. So let's see, let's see. You know, Lindsay is uh, kind of an expert on feed sacks. She wrote an amazing book on feed sacks. 
um, from her collection and from other people's collections. And so a lot of her fabric lines are pulling from those feed sacks. And the colors, look at that. <gasps> look at the purple. You know, I'm kind of like into that now after the critter quilt. Look at that. Okay. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And now the, the, the um, exclusive pattern that comes just in the kit is for the table runner. So that is so, so darling. Using the papers, using these papers, I think, is it? Yeah, so like all of these stars here, like these guys. Yeah, it's just a bed runner. It's a, no, it says table runner. And then here is that free pattern for the block of the month too. So both of these are in here, but they're exclusive to the kit. This you can never buy. They just do not make them available. But what they did do is on the back of your coupon code, they have this quilt that they recommend would look wonderful with this fabric. Right, there we go. So can you see that? Well, get it all in the camera, Pat. Okay, it's not. <laughs> that's, it's not. There you go, you can see. But that's a cute, that's a cute quilt. So if you want to pick up some of these charm packs yourself, uh, and then you can you know, look for that other pattern called, I'll link, I'll link to it directly in the description box below. So I'll link it to you. Okay, so that is cool. That's a great box. That is a super, super box. I have not um, played with charm packs in a little while. And this is so cute. <gasps> Love it. Love it. All right. I have a Q&A that uh, somebody sent me. And let me, just, let me just get something so I can talk about it. Before the question, uh, our friend Suzanne uh, shared a post in my Facebook group, and I'm linking to that right now. So if you are a member of my Facebook group, you'll be able to see this. If you're not a member, you won't be able to see it, but you can join. Uh, but she he was using these um, sweater things like from she said it was from like the 1980s which i believe i think like in the 80s all of us it was all the rage to get these sweater shavers because i think a lot of us were wearing or had clothing that was pilling the sweaters that pilled because there were a lot of poly in them and whatnot and so uh she was used it she used it on her wool mat to kind of clean it up which was really cool and worked really really well so thank you for that tip and now um Everybody's digging out, everybody that saw that post, we're digging out all of their sweater shavers. And I'll link you in the description box below to a new sweater shaver in case like me, you don't have yours anymore. <laughs> so the question I had was along the lines, and I've had a couple of questions that kind of go along the lines of this is, you know, kind of why do I use a fat quarter bundle for some of the sew alongs, like the one that we're doing um, for Black Wednesday, the National Parks, Ode to the National Parks, or, you know, or, or how do I know if a fat quarter bundle is going to be enough because they have different numbers of fabrics in it, which is also a really good point. Okay, so for those of you who may not know, these are what bundles look like. This is actually a fat eighth, which you see how it's half as wide, it is half as much of fabric as would be in this one. There are two different fabric lines. You can also see they have a different number of fabrics in them. So that's where the question comes in. Now on something like mine where I said you could use a fat quarter bundle of my gratitude and grace or you could use this fat quarter bundle called shoreline which is a fat eighth bundle rather of shoreline the number of fabrics that are in here often i will tell you how many on my supply list you know and i may have forgotten on that one to put the number of them but if the number of, of fat quarters in a bundle is not there all you have to do is look at the picture of it and count them or you can go to the link where you purchase it and it'll tell you there how many are in the bundle. So there you go. So if I tell you that bundle, like Gratitude and Grace, which I think is like 21 pieces, if I say that's enough, then it's 21 fat quarters. These are for nine blocks, for Ode, Ode to the National Park, for nine blocks, these kind of fat bundles would be are plenty. I have done the nine blocks with the fat eighths, with the skinnier one, many, many times because there's plenty. Now, if you like to have, maybe, maybe you wanna do this with no green, 
like if you wanted to eliminate the green, well then you might need to maybe look sub in a couple other pieces because there's a lot of white in this line. So you have to kind of look at the fabric line and what's in it to make a determination. So like for me, because there's a bit of white in this, I may use these fabrics, these white based fabrics as background versus the background that I'm, you know, list because I'll use that as well. But, you know, I can switch it up. But some fabric lines like this one has a ton of fabrics that are not based on a light white background or, you know, whatever the light is for the group. And so they all pop against a light background. So you have to look at those things. But if I tell you a certain bundle is what I'm going to use, then the number of it in that one is plenty. And I try to remember to put how many, but occasionally I forget. So, you know, you can always discount it. Count, count them. It's simple. It's really simple. Or go to the link. Okay, we're going to look at the final state fabrics. I believe these are it as far as I know. <laughs> if another one randomly comes in, I'll show it at the end of the week. So Landa in Colorado, she sent me pretty, look how pretty those butterflies are. And then she sent fabric and I had to write this down. So the um, bird, Colorado bird, I guess, state bird, is a lark bunting. So that's there, look at that. They look like a crow on there, but I'm assuming they aren't. I haven't looked them up, but that's pretty fabric. And then the state flower, which is also on there, and she sent me another piece, is the columbine. So gorgeous. That black and purple is just beautiful. This one is from Rebecca in Vermont, and she sent, oh, it's a quilty, a quilty colors. Isn't that pretty? Painted. And uh, this, what's that, write this down. This is a hermit, you guys are testing me, a hermit thrush <laughs> and red clover for Vermont. Nice, pretty, pretty, pretty. This one is from D in, I don't know where she's from because she sent it right from Etsy or from wherever, Spoonflower, forever, wherever it came from. And it is another Alabama fabric. So there's, there you go red and gray, got all the towns. Nice, I saw Mobile on there. I've been to Mobile, Mobile, Alabama. My dad's wife worked in Mobile, Alabama. Um, not, not permanently, she went down because uh, her company has a office there. So she went to Mobile quite a bit and we went down with her one time and I went down there and taught another time. So this is from Patricia in Colorado. Look at that bear. Look how sweet he is, says bear cub. And so she sent me, not Colorado, she sent me some Nevada fabric. There we go. And Las Vegas, ta-da. Pretty, right? I love these ones. They got such cool stuff on them. And wait, there's more. She sent some Washington DC fabric. Nice, so I have a nice collection of that now. There we go, Washington DC, the, the, the buildings. And then the one that has, uh, had the pandas. So, and the cherry blossoms, pandas, cherry blossoms is right side up, yeah, there we go. Thank you, thank you. My goodness, so great. Okay, these ones have just a couple of things in them, just a couple of things. So this is from Jeannie in Virginia, and she made the card. <gasps> Love you a latte. <laughs> That's so sweet, so sweet. And look what she found, the mushroom needle minder. It's so cute. That is so cute. Okay, first let me show you the state fabric, because she sent a couple other cute things. So here's some Alabama. Got that one, and Let's see, what is this one? This one, I forget now, what is it? Is it Hawaii? I think it's Hawaii. Yeah, Tropic Vacation Hawaii, yeah, I've spotted Hawaii. I like the postcards. Look at this, isn't that cool? I like the postcard stuff. That is very cool. Plus, 
She sent me one that has, it's sort of mod, modern looking with all the states. The right side up, yeah. That is cool. Almost looks like a, like a little bit like a jigsaw puzzle. Hey, it's got gray on it. So for gray quilt day, <laughs> gray share your gray quilts. Quilts with a lot of gray. Then she sent me this super cute bag. <laughs> this, let's let that shiitake go. There you are. There you are. And she made me some little cards. Look how precious they are. Look at this. And then on the back, she stamped. Look at that. Then she did, not, not this, that one, but she did me some snow, did some snowmen for me. Look how sweet they are. And on the back is a couple of, like a little group of them. Oh, so cute. Thank you, Jeannie. Thank you, thank you. Okay. And just two more, but they both have a couple, just a couple of things in them. So this one is from Vicki in Alabama. I love that card. Look at that. Look at that. Beautiful words, too. Just beautiful. Who are they? Do they say who the people are? I'll have to read. I don't think so. But she actually sent it in the, the cute little bag. So cute. And we've got in here. She found a tea towel for Alabama because she thought, well, maybe because it's a little bit different, I might be able to use some of the things off of it. So. I love the bird. Oh, it's on the back, on that side too. And the banjo. And then she found one of those home um, banners. Remember those? We've seen a couple of those. Oh, here we are for Alabama. I think it's kind of funny when I said nobody was sending me anything from Alabama and then like, you know, it was like challenge issued. You, you all were all like, oh, we can find you some of that. Um, it's, so she sent some yellow squares for the lemon chiffon. So we got that. Yes, I know that the uh, camera squeaks. And the maintenance department here at the Sloan residence um, knows about it, but has not wanted to mess around because it's actually the unit the camera sits on. And so we have to kind of take everything apart and that's just not been a high priority. So I try not to get it squeaking, but it does. So she found me some cute, cute fabrics. Look at these guys. This is the fun end of summer flamingos. <laughs> some darling frogs. Oh my goodness. Look how goofy they are. So cute. Some gorgeous, gorgeous mushrooms. Look at that. Look at that. <gasps> look and and on peach and orange i think peach and or peach orange and gold these colors just speak to me right now ah oh, so pretty that would make a cute pair maybe i'll have to cut one up put it in a pair i don't know and that wait there's a couple just she had these cute little tags she sent me these cute look how cute they are <laughs> and this very fun very fun um, like a jar opener thing and it looks like it could also be uh, was a silicone so sheet so I could use it for a hot pad too. love that shape that is so cool thank you thank you you are just amazing Vicki amazing everybody's amazing and the last one is uh, <laughs> this is from Peggers in Iowa and Peggers has done sent a few things uh, when we were doing the critter quilts. She kind of sent some of the initial ones that made me sort of think about doing the project. So thank you, Peggers, for that. She did the pink flamingo that I kept and made into the quilt. Uh, so she has she sent this card. Here we go. Sent this card. Beautiful. Uh, some yellow squares for lemon chiffon because they come from what she sent. And before I show you the other parts, let me I'll show you some other things first. She found this when she was out thrifting. So she sent along for, for Mr. Greg because she thought he might be able to use, it's a belt buckle, but she said he, she had a good idea. She said, Peggers, you had a great idea. You said it could be like a little paperweight. I think that's perfect. He will love it. I haven't shown it to him yet, but he will love it. And then she said she was also given a bunch of this fabric. She said like a bolt. And so she decided to send me some of it, red and white, slanted stripe oh, this is this 
is so perfect. This might have to go on the Christmas all year. I'm thinking, I'm just putting it in that container, right into there, to be reviewed for that. Okay, and then Peggers, you have outdone yourself in your generosity. I am just floored. These are, this is amazing. So the first one is she said she was making this for her sister. And so like a true quilter that Peggers is, and many of us would probably do the same. She's like, if I'm making one of this size, I'll just make two. It's not that much more. So look at this, look at the owl. <gasps> and I believe this can fit on my front door even. If not, it can fit inside for sure. Inside next to the front door where I see it in my hallway all the time. It's a perfect size for there. Look at that, he's amazing. And look at her backing fabric. Look how fun, look how fun that is with the words. And then the other one she sent is definitely on my door. This is where the yellow fabric came from. Ta-da, the bees, let me get it back here. There you go. The bees with the little beehive and the heart in it. Look how sweet that is. And she's got some bee fabrics on the back. So stinking cute. Little gingham, little gingham binding. Oh, this, you have spoiled me endlessly, all of you. This is just so awesome. I really, oh, squeak. I really, I really, really appreciate it. I love all of you so much. Oh my goodness. Okay, so download your calendar so that when I talk about things, you know, you are in the know, you are in the know. And if you didn't pick up a sew sampler box, one of the, there's past boxes still available. So be sure you go out and get one for yourself. Da -da -da. This is this one. Cute. Okay, my friend, I love you. Mwah. Thanks for being here in the Sloan Zone. I will see you online. Mm -hmm.